Okay. Hello class. So, in our previous discussion, we have discussed the three cycles already. The pre-arrival, in which reservation inquiry will happen. Arrival, in which guest check-in will happen. Occupancy, in which monitoring of guest account will happen. And that includes the night audit. And now we will be discussing the last cycle, which is the departure, in which settling of guest bill will happen or guest check out. So for today's discussion, this would be our learning outcomes. So you're going to perform the procedure in guest check out. Okay, so by the way, what is guest check out? Okay, so guest check out, it is the last contact of a guest that will happen in the property and the experience at this point will determine what kind of impression will a guest carry with him or her. Sometimes, um, or the guest vacating the room usually depends upon the hotel's checkout time. Usually, the checkout time is 12 noon. That would be the standard checkout time, okay? Magi na siyang standard checkout time sa hotels, which is 12 noon. Sometimes, depending on the availability of the room and the type of client, the checkout time can be extended for the guest on special request. And of course, if ma extend ng ihang checkout, then additional charges will apply. So here, there are these are the procedures designed to simplify checkout and account settlement. So first, inquiring about additional recent charges. So the front office agent should check or inquire about additional recent charges before settling the guest account before checkout. So verification is very important so that all bills being charged to the guest were right. Okay, and also, if the night auditor or the accounting department miss, ma, miss or on post in charges to the guest account, then it will be verified also and the charges will be applied. Okay, if na yung mga uh, uh, charges nga wala siya na post, then the, we will proceed to the second procedure, which is posting outstanding charges. So, after inquiring about the charges, then the FO agent should post all outstanding balances to the guest volume. So it is very important task of checkout because once the account is settled down, no amount can be added to the guest volume. Okay, so very important yud nga focus ang front desk in charge or the FO agent so that these things would be followed and ma-avoid ang mga kana bitaw ma avoid ang mga palpak or kanang mga ma avoid ang mga dili pag charge sa mga certain na mga services nga gikuha sa usa ka guest then after posting outstanding charges then you're going to verify the information of the guest so the front office agent should check or verify properly before settling the guest account as zero because any amendment or cancellation cannot be performed once the guest account is settled by the agent during checkout. Okay? And then fourth, presenting the guest folio. So different office agents should present the guest folio to the guest after all verification and checking are completed by the assistant okay and in doing so there are method in which the guests can settle the bills it could be settled by cash so a cash payment in full during checkout will bring a guest account balance to zero okay so the fo agent should mark the folio as Paid. According to front office policy, sometimes it may require the guest to present a credit card at a check-in to gain charges privileges. Okay, so kanang kwan mang yod um assurance magit ang gikinahanglan. Okay, kay bisan gani even gani pag tanda ko reservation or even gani ang pagpareserve sa room na magin siya mga certain de deposits to set as the reservation as guaranteed reservation, okay? 
The second method of settling the guest bill is through credit card transfer. So even though credit card settlement brings the guest account to zero, the amount of the charge must be tracked. Okay, it should be tracked until payment is actually received from the credit card company. So therefore, credit card settlement creates a transfer credit on the guest folio and moves the account balance from the guest ledger to the city ledger. Okay, and then the third one is direct billing transfer. Okay, so a checkout like credit card settlement Direct billing transfer a guest account balance from guest ledger to settle ledger. So it is the hotel's responsibility to collect the direct billing if that is a credit card settlement. But if it is a debit card settlement, it is considered as cash payment because the funds are directly deducted from the guest account. Okay, mona siya ang process. And then lastly, um, last method or options that a guest can settle his or her bill is the through combined settlement method. So, if a guest may choose to use more than one more method to bring the account balance to zero, the guest may make partial cash payment and charge the remainder of the account balance to a credit card. So, the front office agent should be very careful with this kind of method of settlement. Okay, it would lead to confusion man. Like, for example, ni pay siya og half sa iyang bill through cash. And then, mo pay po siya og half sa iyang bill through credit card. Okay, so, since na na ang cash, and then half lang siya, and then nakalimtan dahil niya na settle to ang guest sa through credit card. So, ma-remain dito or mabutang dito nga naapa siya unpaid nga balance nga half. Okay, so it's very important that everything is being noted, everything is being written in the guest volume. And the fifth one is checking for mails, messages, and faxes. Okay, so after you presenting the guest folio, the front office desk should check for any guest messages, faxes, or mails. Okay, if na agani, so it should be handed over the guest before check out. And then the sixth one is the checking for safe deposit box or in-room safe keys. So this is another important responsibility at checkout for the front desk agent. Okay, very important na siya because the front desk agent should check the valuables items or belongings lying in the safe deposit box. If na ay mga nakitan dito, it should be handed over to the guest. So, it should be the friendless agent also will secure the safe case from the guest. Okay? And then, seventh is the securing the room key. So, the guest should hand over the room keys at the front office before checking out of the hotel. After completing the checkout procedures of the guest, then the front office staff should update the room status for occupied to vacant status on the system. This will help the housekeeping department for cleaning the room as soon as possible. Okay, so if standard gihapon ng inyong gigamit na key, like naapagihapon siya doorknob and then key, so it is very important to to secure the room key. Okay, dilikit kailangan makalimtan nga nga dapat iuli gin sa usa ka guest ang kana nga yawi. But there are some nga kanang through swipe swipe na lang or itap na lang nila sa ilah sa doorknob since electronic naman siya na ano naman siya sa system so some of the hotel would not require to return the key card okay dili na na siya i-return since uh, ma change naman nila ang mga code sa ilahang system so safe gihapon ang room dili gihapon siya masudlan og bisag kinsa ng mga tao okay and then the eighth one is inquiring about the guest stay and experience. So after checking out of the guest, the front office staff should call or send a mail to the guest regarding his or her stay in the hotel. So this procedure is followed to ensure the guest will return to the same hotel for future stay. And also, this will also help the hotel to improve more, okay? Uh, makita nila kung asa sila nga area, makita nila kung asa nga area ang kailangan nila i-improve. 
so that the guests will patronize more in your hotel, okay? And then requesting the guest to complete a guest satisfaction survey. So it would be the front office staff would requ request the guest to fill out this satisfaction survey. And also, again, it would help them assess on which areas ang kailangan nila improve o asa po sila nga area nagkulang sa ilahang service. And then lastly, updating the guest history file. So after all procedures are completed, so the front office assistants should create or update the guest history card for future use or for future stay. Okay, so very important na siya nga naamoy files o sa guest kay what if in the next year, in the next month, the guest would come back again. Okay, so at least na ang may reference kung unsa ihang mga gusto, unsa ihang mga gipang avail, sa ihang pagstay previously. Okay, so those are the things or those are the procedures or methods to simplify the guest checkout. Now, let's discuss the standard operating procedures for guest checkout. So first, you're going to greet the guest. Okay, good morning or good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Adam. Okay, so politely and of course with a smile. And then second, you're going to print a copy of the guest portfolio. And then you have to hand it over to the guest for verification purposes. And after verification, if na ay mga discrepancy, so assure the guest that you would find a way or ikailangan din na siya solbon. And immediately and apologize for the inconvenience kay nahita bo okay so from the guest database you have to ensure that the guest preference of payment method is being indicated and you have to recite it repeat it to the guest okay and then after repeating it settle the guest account you have to print the receipt and give it to the guest and ask the guest if he or she needs any assistance for luggage if he, he or she needs assistance for the luggage, then you're going to call the bellboy, okay? And then, ask the guest if the transport facility to the airport is required. And if required, then you have to call the bellboy again and papangitaon siya o transportation facility, okay? Since naaram mag yun, mostly mag yun sa mga dago na hotel, naamag yun na sa mga transportation facility. And lastly, greet the guest for giving an opportunity to serve us. Hope you enjoy your stay with us. Thank you. Good morning. Okay, mga ang anak na mga um, greetings. Okay? And during po sa inyong discussion, during po pag-settling sa guest or pag-asking pag ni mo ato na mga question, mapudha po na tayo, imo ay as ang guest to fill in the um, satisfaction uh, document. Okay, satisfaction form I mean. So mapud na siya nga tayo. Okay, so basically ang process sa guest checkout is it is the guest will initiate the guest checkout. So mostly will happen the guest will call to different office and also nga mo check out na siya and then ask to keep the bill ready na. Okay? So I will give you an example, a video on how a guest will up the process of guest checkout. Well, Miss Sarah and Miss Polly, if you wish to settle your bill, the pronoun is considered from there. And I will take care of your luggage. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, madam. How may I assist you? I would like to check out. Uh, may I have your room number, please? Yes, it's 303. Under the name of Elizara Marinova. Well, Miss Sarah, uh, do you have any last minute consumption for our hotel facilities? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they have anything? Okay, so for today we didn't consume anything. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, would you wait for a moment, please? I will check it first. Of course. Where will be your next destination? We're going home, unfortunately. Holiday is over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
back to the reality, I think. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And this is your guest bill and also your supporting bill. Mm -hmm. And this is the total of your amount. Uh, please correct all of the bill and sign right here if all the bill is correct. And here is the Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 303, check out. Mm -hmm. Everything is good with the bill. How about your transportation to the airport? We already have a driver on the way. Oh, that's great, Miss yeah. Sarah and mm -hmm. Pauline. Um, hold you wait for a moment, please. I will correct all of this. Excuse me, Miss Sarah. I'm sorry for the intro. Your uh, driver has arrived. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And how about your stay in our hotel? It was amazing. Mm -hmm. We really enjoyed it. We also really liked the pool and it was exactly next to the beach so we can see the sunrise and the sunset from the room. That was super nice and super helpful. Uh, thank you for your feedback, Miss Sarah or Miss Pauli. And how about uh, to settle your payment? Uh, I'll do it okay, by uh, card. Oh. And here is. May I have your credit card, please? Here you go. May I have your pink? Yep. and here is your zero balance bill and also this is your credit card receipt mm -hmm. and I will put all of this receipt uh, on the envelope and okay. may I have your this nature okay. I think that's the driver has arrived yes. yeah. It's already here. What's your time What time is your departure? Uh, it's in the evening, 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we have time to join the airport. <laughs> and this is your the envelope. Thank you. And mm -hmm. is there anything else that I can assist you with? No, mm -hmm. I think everything was very nice, so nothing more. Well, Miss Sarah and Miss Pa Ali, thank you so much for choosing our hotel. I hope you come back again to Bali and stay again in our hotel in the future. Please double check all your belongings and make sure nothing left behind. Please wait a moment, I will call the bellboy to assist you with our updates. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Bellboy, please. Yes, I am. Well, Miss Sarah and Miss Pauli, he is Satya, the bellboy. He will assist you with your luggage. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you bye -bye. for choosing our hotel. Thank you. Okay, so that is the process of guest checkout. So, as you can see, the verification of the information of the guest is very important. Verification of the charge being posted to the guest photo is very important. And then, settling of bill. Okay, so settling of bill based on the video presented is through credit card. Okay, so as you can see, after, after giving the payment, the front is in charge, give also the uh, receipt to the guest. Okay, so for your laboratory exercise number one, you're going to submit again a recording video of yourself conducting the standard operating procedures in guest checkout. So again, your performance will be based on the rubrics, so content. 15 points, delivery on how you're going to deliver your content or your dialogue, that, that would be 10 points. And then mastery of the process, that would be 25 points. Okay, so deadline would be on June 18. Okay, so June 18 and deadline, and as I knew how uh, video presentation, and then it would be submitted to the Moodle. 
in the air learning and also you can upload your video in your YouTube channel and email me your link. So, mao na siya ang ato ang mao na siya inyo hang laboratory exercise for number nine. Okay, so if you have any question, you can message me and also na po dito sa announcement ang consultation time. Okay, if naman mga clarification, mga verification regarding sa discussion ng wala na subtitle or ang concepts sa inyo hang video presentation, pwede naman mo mo click ato na link so that we can talk regarding on that things. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you everyone. God bless and keep safe.